Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a homemade functional equation. I call this equation homemade because I haven't seen this problem in a book or on the internet or something like that. But it's easy to come up with these problems. Anyways, x is positive. We have f of x to the power y equals y times f of x. And f is also continuous. So it's given that f is continuous and we're going to be solving for f. So I'll present one method, but I'll show you two approaches, uh, how to proceed towards the end. So let's start with setting x to the power y equal to another variable. I'm thinking about a variable that could come after x, y, and that's z, yes. So x to the power y, let's call it z. And from here, we can go ahead and notice that x is positive. So we can go ahead and ln both sides. ln x to the power y equals ln z. But of course, when x is positive, x to the power y is also going to be positive. Therefore, z is also positive. Great. From here, we can do the following. Uh, using power property, we can move the y to the front and write this as y ln x equals ln z. This is nice because it allows you to isolate y and write it in terms of x and z. So let's go ahead and do that. Isolate y and write it as ln z over ln x. Cool. This is my y value and I'm going to use it. How? In the original expression, right? Replace x to the power y with z so it becomes f of z equals y will be replaced with ln z over ln x and f of x is just going to stay the same. So we have this interesting equation. Hopefully this gives you an idea on what to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I would like to get an expression for f of x. So I think it makes sense if I isolated f of x, doesn't it? Let's go ahead and isolate f of x here and let's write this as f of z times ln x divided by ln z. Okay, so we have this equation and I want to find the value of f of x or find an expression for f. And this is what I can do. Since this equation is true for all uh, positive values of x and z, uh, so obviously z cannot equal 1 here. We have to include that. So we can do the following. We can replace z with e right? Euler's number. And when we do that, something interesting happens. We get f of e multiplied by ln x, which is uh, dependent on x, divided by ln e, which is 1. So I don't have to worry about it. We get the following. f of e times ln x. Now, f of e is a constant, so I can call that k, can I? And this gives us k ln x for f of x. Let me rewrite it. f of x equals k times ln x. k is a constant and k is equal to f of e. Actually, in this equation, if you replace x with e, you're going to get f of e equals k. Uh, so that will be verified one more time. So this is an expression for f of x and that's what I was looking for. So that's the solution, right? But let's go ahead and take a look at the second approach. A slightly different way of approaching this problem. So we got this expression, right, f of z equals ln z over ln x times f of x. And at this point, I want to do something a little different. So, I want to do the following. I want to put the f's together. So, write it as f of z over f of x equals ln z over ln x. Now, what does this tell you? This tells you that ln z and ln x are proportional. Therefore, um, they're multiples of the same thing. In other words, I can write the ln z as k ln z and write the ln x as k ln x. And the k is going to cancel out and we're going to end up with the same thing. But this is cool because this allows us to associate f of z with k ln z and f of x with k ln x, which is something that those imply each other. And 
this actually works and this gives us the solution in just a different way, right? Okay, cool. Now, let's go ahead and do the following. We got f of x equals k ln x for the solution to this problem. f of x to the y equals y times f of x and x is positive and f is continuous. So let's go ahead and plug it in to check our work. You don't have to do it, but it's just, you know, fun. Let's give it a try. So I'm going to evaluate f of x to the y. f of x to the y by this is equal to k times ln x to the y. And this can be written as move the y to the front, y k ln x. Now what about the second part? y f of x can be written as y times f of x, which is k ln x. y times k ln x can be written as y k ln x. And notice that these two are the same, which means our solution checks. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.